Hey ladies, I'm Courtney Labrie. Welcome back to my channel. I like kind of disappeared and then I came back, but I have the whole rundown for you. I'm in my bathroom right now. I'm just getting ready. It's actually nighttime, so I'm kind of winding down, getting ready for bed. In my last vlog, I felt like I kind of had told you guys that I was feeling a little burnt out. I was feeling a little tired. So I needed to really like give myself some time away to recuperate and just reset, really just reset. I took some time off work and I really just, you know, made some time for myself. I mentioned that I would be going to the Phoenician, which is a spa with my friends. And we actually did do that for one of my friend's birthday and it was so, so, so needed. I didn't realize how much I needed it until we got there. So I got, um, I think they got body scrubs, but I got the fire and ice treatment and it was so nice. I just enjoyed every moment. I really didn't record that much as I insert B-roll footage. we ended up like chilling by the pool and just having some nice little drinks but we just really enjoyed ourselves and just chilled and relaxed like really getting some some R&R &R. because I feel like when sometimes you're just on the go and just constantly hustling and bustling you don't realize how much that just burns you out and then sometimes I feel like if you don't sit down, sometimes your body will force you to sit down. So my girls and I, we all like scheduled our treatments and massages around the same time. So we were able to put our stuff up in the cubbies and in like the cubbies they had nice little like eye mask and just cute little handy dandy things where you're just like, oh, they even gave us by the pool like sunscreen and little SPF bomb and it was just really cute. So I grabbed, um, of course, you know, <laughs> if you're gonna give it to me, I'm gonna take it. I grabbed me some eye masks. This is from Patchology. It's inspiring tea infused aromatherapy eye gel. So, ooh, it has rose, hibiscus, lotus, and lotus flower. So, I want to try these. They look very like hydrating. Oh, this looks super duper hydrating. This has like a lot of juice in it. But I just want to um, try these out. Ooh. And um, my head, oh wow. How many are there? My husband and I, we actually had went, is this it? I feel like this is the paper. Hold oh. <laughs> Definitely the paper for it. What are you doing? <laughs> but my husband and I, we had went back to the spa once he had came back from being out of town. Oh, this is hella hydrating. I feel like it's so hydrating, it's not gonna stay. We have went back to this spa and I didn't grab any more eye gels, I should've. But needless to say, I've been loving the Phoenician. Low key wanna live there at the spa. Oh, oh, these are super nice. I have the perfect thing that'll get these all in there. Oh, this is nice. Um, but low key, did it move? It sure did. Okay, maybe that's not the move. I just wanna press it all in. Oh, maybe after it sits for 10 minutes and I'll press it in with my J roll or my um, rose quartz roller. So right after, you know, spa days and everything like that, I headed to California for 
my little sister's graduation. Me and my older stepsister, we definitely made her late to her own graduation, but what are sisters for? You know what I'm saying? I think in that moment she hated us, but she lived and she made it and she graduated. So that's all that matters. So go her. I'm actually really proud of her because I really like pushed in her brain like, girl, one thing you do not want in this life is student loans. So she actually managed to get a lot of scholarship, a lot of grants. So kudos to my baby sister, I'm proud of her. Soon as we came back from California, like less than 24 hours later, we were back on a plane to Atlanta. He was working and I worked out there as well, but um, when he had to go to New York, I decided to stay in Atlanta. So I stayed at one of the hotels in Midtown. I enjoyed some of the food. Um, I did some shopping. I grabbed a couple new dresses. I actually did. I do a lot of shopping. No, I, I didn't do that much shopping, but I did do some shopping when I came back and I kind of want to show you guys what I got, but I think I'm going to save it for a video. Originally, it was supposed to only take me two hours to get to the city. With traffic, it took me four hours to get into the city because when we went to Georgia, we were in a small town. It was pouring rain i thought it was just sprinkling wow my feet are soaked i am soaked i stepped in puddles i lost my sandal i just i was not prepared for the rain at all like i'm soaking wet all right this is off to an interesting start but we're gonna continue on so i was not prepared for the wet weather i think that was kind of a contributing factor to me getting sick later on but you know it just never knocked i didn't have any like close toe shoes or like jackets with hoods, heck, even an umbrella. Like I was just not prepared for the rain, but I still enjoyed myself. So there's this YouTuber that I'm subscribed to. Her name is Aaliyah's Face, Aaliyah Face or Aaliyah's Face. Um, and she lives in Georgia and she always goes to this nail shop. And so I was able to get an appointment with the nail shop, but baby, I almost didn't make it. I rescheduled my appointment like three times, not even joking. And at first the lady was like, we're booked, we can't get you in. And then she adjusted her schedule for me once. And then I was just like, I'm still not gonna make it with that time. Like I'm gonna be so late. And so right when I had called her, she was like, oh, somebody just canceled so you can get in. So I just got a little gel manicure. I was feeling fancy, you know, cause I normally just do regular polish, but I got a gel manicure and yeah, overall I was really happy with like the service and the experience that I had and the place was really cute and swank um, and it was right by my hotel so it worked out perfect. After doing all of that traveling, I think my body was just like, girl, sit down. <laughs> that was just a little quick catch up of where I've been, what I've been doing, why I've been MIA. Now I'm ready to get back on my routine since my husband is back in town. I keep touching these and it's like I have it now. So I've just been like, just trying to get my schedule going because if I don't have a schedule, I need, I'm all over the place. I have to have everything in order. Otherwise I'll feel like so discombobulated and I'm not good for nobody when I'm discombobulated. So. I don't know if it's a Libra thing or what, but the scales gotta be balanced and I have to know exactly what I'm doing. Otherwise, I just won't feel as productive. I think it's been over 10 minutes, so I'm gonna take this off. Mm. And then now I'm gonna come in. Oh yeah, that's perfect. But that's really been it. Overall, I've just been trying to, you know, get caught up, get my life organized. That's when I really operate at my best is when I'm nice and organized. So like your girl needs a schedule down to the T. That was just a little bit of my, my travel update. It was kind of like an ATL recap where I've been recap. I did come across 
um, one of the coach outlet stores out here and I was so shocked by how like it was it was really really nice and they had some really nice things in there and I already have my eye on something so maybe I might have a shop with me um, coming soon but I have my eye on another bag so but overall I am really excited to be back recording and putting out some fresh ideas new content so make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye